Can you please tell me your name at the beginning? I'm Lise Heeres from Belgium. Hmm? When did you arrive in Japan? I arrived uh, on Monday. Monday. And I'm uh, leaving today. <laughs> really? Yes. So I'm very... here for a scientific conference. Ah, yes. I see. What it's, conference? Uh, on uh, biomechanics. Uh, bi biomechanics? Yes. Uh, is that a big conference? It was, yeah, the International Society of Biomechanics mm -hmm. and the Japanese uh, Society of Biomechanics uh -huh. had a conference in the in a conference center here in Fukuoka. Are you a scientist? Yes. A scientist? Uh, professor and a scientist, oh, really? yes. <laughs> uh, you are coming for that conference? Yes. Uh, yeah, not, I not traveling? No, 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 because my family did, couldn't come with me. Mm -hmm. So that's why I I had to, uh, yeah. Only Yeah, so only short, few, yes, few, only few a few days. days, yes. But I'm trying some mm -hmm. flying this afternoon, but I'm trying to get some impression yeah. anyway by walking around. So do you have uh, any image of the uh, Japanese I, life culture. I, I really love coming to Japan because even I, though I can't read Japanese, I don't understand Japanese, it, I find it very easy to travel mm -hmm. because everything is structured, everything mm -hmm. is logical yeah. and if you have a problem, you know, you, somebody will help you. Really? Even if they don't speak English and you don't speak Japanese, mm -hmm. somehow it always works out. So I, I find it really easy. Really <laughs> to easy? travel in Japan. Yes. Really? Did you encounter any difficulties during your stay in Japan? No. 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 Very. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, just you go to someone and and you smile. <laughs> I know two words. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's uh, thank you and uh, hello and and then you know some if they can help you they will really point you to somebody who might help you. Yeah. So yeah. So have you tried any Japanese like thing? Uh, like we had at the conference, we yeah. had traditional foods uh, oh, really? for lunch. So yes. <laughs> well, what food did yeah, you eat? Yeah, the bento boxes. Bento box. Bento box. What what the inside? Oh, do they, you, they do you remember? No, they had a variety of things. <laughs> I see. Yeah, and then yesterday we had a conference dinner, mm -hmm. but in the shopping mall mm -hmm. there, and they had all kinds of ten restaurants mm -hmm. having small dishes yeah. from them. So, I mean, at least you don't get to just eat. Western food, so it's yeah. good. <laughs> good. Have you ever tried any other Japanese like culture? Uh, did you did you go to any other shrine or temple? Yeah, I've been walking around the walking around uh, to to find all the, shri yeah. well, to so the shrines. So only Fukuoka. To. Yes, only Fukuoka. I have been at, oh, but I don't remember the city. It wasn't a big city. Um, before COVID somewhere, but that was, mm -hmm. that was uh, even shorter <laughs> and there was less culture. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, I, see. I like this one better. Can you describe your impression of Japan this, in this trip? Here, in this trip, it's, it's uh, hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really it's warm, but <laughs> yeah, very no, hot. very friendly, helpful mm -hmm. people and, and very, yeah, it's really safe. I mean, I just feel like we can just walk around and... Yeah. and, and yeah. What initial image in your mind for uh, came to Japan about uh, Japan? Maybe that people would be a bit more severe, mm -hmm. and they're far more smiley than. <laughs> uh, I see. Yeah, I, I mean that's just prejudice, right? But uh, yeah. no, and and other than that, it really I thought it was going to be very clean and organized, yeah. and that was exactly that. So, so did you find uh, any differences between? your country and uh, Japan. Oh, uh, yeah, apart from the weather. Yeah, I'm from Belgium, from, eh? so yeah. now it has been raining mm -hmm. 19 degrees for the 19 whole degrees? Week. Yes, <laughs> really <laughs> bad weather. <laughs> Typical Belgian summer weather. Um, yeah. it's, it's actually cleaner here, and more structured, yeah. um, more helpful, I would say, oh. in general. Yeah. I think people in Belgium are maybe a bit less helpful, a bit more loud. Loud? Loud, yes. So you mean the, some people, noise? Yeah, people. Uh, people yeah, uh, people when they talking are there, they're louder. very present. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, like at the airport, Yeah. I was waiting and everybody was very quiet and, and calm. Yeah. <laughs> and suddenly I heard okay, people from the Netherlands, mm -hmm. they were very present. They were shouting in front of <laughs> shouting? everyone. I was like, okay, don't be that. <laughs> don't be so cliche. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so this louder, shouting. Yeah. <laughs> I see. If you have time, do you want to any other prefectures? Uh, I I think when if I would ever want to travel Japan, I would want to do the nature more the, the uh, nature yeah. things. So and countryside, then, you yeah, want countryside. To go. That's uh, mm. more rather than the city centers. But mm. 
or some the the, the holy places are always mm. interesting to visit and then and then the yeah trails and and the nature mm. yeah. do you have uh, any friends uh, who have been mm -hmm. in japan before? no no well and i have some colleagues in japan mm -hmm. but i don't have any personal friends. I have some people really? that lived here for a bit, mm -hmm. but then they already left, so... Yeah, I see. Yeah. I have a few more questions. I think it's a difficult question, because uh, you you have stayed only a yeah. few days, but I want to ask you about... Uh, if you could bring something back to uh, your hometown, what would you bring back from Japan? As in a, a habit or a thing? Anything. Anything. I think the sense of here that everybody's responsible for the the whole for for the common places mm -hmm. that you know nobody litters mm -hmm. and and this kind of feeling that together you have to take care of mm -hmm. the common things that, yeah. that i think is, uh, is is really wonderful and it shows mm -hmm. yes, a so. bit less uh, selfishness <laughs> that, that, yeah. uh, would you like to visit japan again yeah, I, I, I do actually. <laughs> Out of all these three countries, this is the one that appeals most. Yeah. 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 Lastly, what message would you like to convey to people who are considering visiting to Japan? Um, that they shouldn't be afraid, you know, that they have mm. to be friendly and kind yeah. and then that, uh, that things will work out. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. So thank you for uh, cooperating. You're very welcome. I hope it was a bit useful, <laughs> given that I was here so short. But, uh, very, very hard. <laughs> thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Can you please tell me your name at the beginning? Okay, okay uh, my name is Logan. Okay. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Germany. Germany? Yes. Which part of Germany? Um, I'm living uh, in the southwest of Germany, mm -hmm. uh, near Karlsruhe. Yeah, Karlsruhe. Uh, when did you arrive in Japan? I arrived like two and a half weeks ago. Long vacation or something? Yes, definitely, yeah. We are staying four weeks here in Japan. Yeah. Really? Yes, we have this week and the next week. So, uh, where did you go? Any other prefectures? Yes, um, we've been to Tokyo, mm -hmm. to Kyoto, Kyoto? Osaka, Osaka, Nara, Nara. Um, Fukuoka, mm -hmm. Hiroshima, um, Miyajima. Miyajima? Um, we had planned to go to Miyakujima, really? but because of the typhoon, uh, our flight was ah, cancelled. So cancelled? Yes, so we came ah. to Fukuoka. <laughs> I see. Okay. Which prefectures do you like the most? Um, to be honest, I really like, uh, uh, liked um, Hiroshima. Hiroshima? Yes, really, really nice city because um, it wasn't so much crowded like Osaka, Kyoto, mm -hmm. Tokyo, because in Germany we don't have that, that big cities. Mm -hmm. We aren't usual, uh, we aren't uh, familiar with so much people. Mm -hmm. So that was a bit more uh, relaxing for us. Yeah, yeah. And calm. But, yeah, calm as well. A bit more calm, but really, really nice city, really mm -hmm. peaceful, really much nature around and stuff. It's really, really nice, yeah. Have you ever tried any Japanese like thing? Uh, kind of uh, tea ceremony or something? Uh, no, 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 definitely not. No, no. 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 <laughs> so have you have you tried uh, any Japanese food? Yes, uh, we try to eat all the time just Japanese stuff because in Germany we can't get it. We just know sushi, mm -hmm. and uh, I guess it's not that good sushi like mm -hmm. here and. In Japan, so we always try to to eat the, the the food that people like you eat here in Japan. So, we what, what did you try? Um, first of all, ramen, sushi, ramen. sushi. Um, curry. We eat. Uh, we really yeah. like the curry. Mm -hmm. We eat a lot of curry here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and many snacks like onigiri and stuff, oh, yeah. sandwiches, and many many desserts that you have here. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. Ah, okonomiyaki, of ah, course. Okonomiyaki. Yeah, yes, of course. <laughs> in Hiroshima? <laughs> yes, yes, in Hiroshima. Yeah. That was the best one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. <laughs> That's really good. And yeah, well, uh, takoyaki and stuff uh -huh. like that. Yeah, yeah. What food do you like the best? I really like everything, to be honest. Everything. Yeah, yeah, it's really good here. Have you ever tried uh, any Japanese food in your country? Um, sus just sushi. Sushi. That's the only thing you can get in Germany. To really? Yeah, yeah. And ramen, but it's not that good that here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. Can you tell me your initial image of Japan in my, before you came to Japan? Uh, before I came. Um, mm. Yeah, I, I had the impression that Japan is really organized, very clean, that the people are very respectful and they treat each other with, with a lot of respect. Mm. And um, 
Yeah, we, because of my my job in Germany, I had a lot of um, to do with with Japanese colleagues. Mm -hmm. I'm working for for Mercedes Benz, oh, really? and we mm -hmm. work with with Fuso here in, in Japan. Mm -hmm. And the the colleagues from Japan always treat us really respectful and really good. And so I came with the impression that all people in Japan are like this. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's it's like that here. Yeah. <laughs> really? So, did you have any differences between uh, you expected? before you come to Japan and uh, after come to actual uh, visiting? Well, no, to be honest, uh, all my expectations that I had uh, became real here in Japan, to be honest, yeah. Oh, it's, really? it's like I, I imagined the country, yeah. Oh, really? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what prompted you to decide to visit Japan? Um, well, many years ago, I, I was interested in, in Japan. Where it's expensive to come to Japan, and uh, the, the, the tickets are expensive, and hotels are expensive, and stuff like that. And so I always said, ah, maybe, maybe when I got a bit more money, I, I would come to Japan. Yeah. And um, one year ago, I started a small um, course for learning Japanese. Really? Yes. <laughs> and you can uh, speak Japanese. Ah. Nihongo benkyo shimasu. Ah, it more or less. <laughs> I, I, I know the, the basic stuff, the really, really, really basic stuff. And um, yeah, and then I said, okay, why not just try to, to come to, to, to Japan? Because all the restrictions of, of COVID and stuff were, were a bit lower right now. And then, then I said to my wife, I come, let's go, just save some money. And then we just, we just, we just go. And well, now I'm here, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, do you have any other plan to visit any other places in, in Japan? In Japan. Um, well, we don't have that much time anymore. We just will stay until Monday here in, in Fukuoka mm -hmm. and get to know the city. And then we go back to Tokyo. And okay. then we have four days. Mm -hmm. We will meet there with, with a, a wife of a colleague from my work. She's uh, Japanese. Oh, really? And um, then we will make some shopping in Tokyo. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Two more questions. If you could bring something back to your hometown, mm. uh, what would you bring back? Well, difficult, me? difficult. We, we were always thinking about what we uh, can take back to, to Germany for, for our friends or stuff. Mm. But here are so much things that look so nice to buy, so we uh -huh. can't, it will be really hard to decide, yeah. <laughs> 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 Did you find some good souvenir for them? Um, yes, but we didn't bought anything because we are traveling the whole yeah, time and so we don't it, want... It, it get heavier. Then. Yes, yes. So we, so we thought that we will do it really in the last days we stay in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. We will buy the stuff and mm -hmm. then ship it back okay. to Germany. Yeah. <laughs> would you like to visit Japan again? Definitely. 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 Yeah. We want to go to Miyakojima, so mm -hmm. we couldn't do ah, it this yeah. day, uh, this uh, this vacation. So next time we want to see this, and yeah, we we'll definitely come back here. How about uh, northern part of Japan? Of Japan? Maybe, maybe I've um, saw some pictures. It looks all, um, it looks really nice too, but um, I think it's a bit colder than here, yeah. right? Yeah, I think so. And well, Germany is so cold, so <laughs> 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 we need some some heat. <laughs> Lastly, what message would you like to convey to people who are considering visiting to Japan? Maybe to, to respect the Japanese culture and the way that the Japanese people live and are, that maybe you can't um, behave like in your home countries because, mm -hmm. yeah, because here is another country, a culture and you have to, to respect it that the Japanese um, would like to have more tourists here because mm. I guess if every tourist um, behaves like in their own countries, maybe you the, think the so? yes, maybe I mm. I got the impression <laughs> 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 because I don't know in I don't like if some tourists come to come to Germany and behave like I don't know not appropriate you oh. know and um, I guess you here in Japan maybe think mm. the same way. <laughs> That would be like my advice. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> thank you for cooperating. Thank you. Uh, uh, first of all, can you tell me your name? Uh, my name is Lucas. Where are you from? Ireland. Why are you coming to Japan? I've always wanted to visit Japan since I was a kid because of anime but also the culture. <laughs> I grew up around a lot of Japanese culture. Uh, really? 
uh, when I was a kid, there used to be sumo wrestling on TV. Uh, sumo wrestling? Ah, uh, sumo wrestling, yeah. On TV, yeah. on Eurosport, and I remember seeing that as a kid. Mm -hmm. And also movies like Princess Mononoke, yeah. and Pokemon, so Pokemon, yeah. I've always, and Dragon Ball Z, so yeah. I've always been interested in uh, Japan. Mm -hmm. This time, for just, uh, you coming to just sightseeing or something? Yeah, I'm sightseeing. So um, sightseeing. I've been to a few cities now. I've been to Tokyo, Nikko, mm -hmm. uh, Kyoto, Nara, mm -hmm. Osaka, really? Nachi, yeah, uh, Hiroshima, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Miyajima, and now Fukuoka. Really? And tomorrow I go to Yokohama. Yeah. Really? So how long have you been in Japan? This is my 12th day. And uh, when are you going back to your uh, I'm going to Taiwan in two days from now. So, oh, really? Yeah. So two days, two days more, right? Yeah, two days more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What initial image uh, do oh. you have in, uh, in mind? Usually, when I think of Japan, and everyone kind of thinks they think of the neon lights of Tokyo. Mm -hmm. So they always think of like the flash and like the colorful like lights and the night sky. Yeah. But. Uh, mm -hmm. I've also known the other part of Japan because I studied Japanese history a bit in really? university. Yeah, so I know about the history, and so I've always been more interested in the spirit of Japan. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of expecting to see the shrine, <laughs> yeah. but uh, seeing them in person is even better because, like, when you see them in images, they look small. Yeah. But when you go to them, they're ma massive. Like they're massive, huge. Yeah. <laughs> like I remember. I, I, when I arrived in Japan, I only slept for three hours mm -hmm. because of jet lag, mm -hmm. and then I went to Sensoji, Sensoji, and I remember having my mind blown because it was huge. And like yeah, the, very huge. And Google and images, they make it look small, yeah. so to actually see it was uh, incredible. <laughs> so that was nice. Experiences yeah. in Japan. Oh yeah, I love it. Uh, you visited uh, many cities mm -hmm. uh, in the US days this time, so which one is the best for you? Oh, it's difficult to choose. I love them all, but I like Hiroshima the most, maybe, I would say. Hiroshima has like a really sad history, but it's yeah. really beautiful to see how the city has rebuilt itself, mm -hmm. but also it's way more quiet and more chill, mm -hmm. like compared to Tokyo, Osaka, yeah. and even Kyoto to some extent. It's just more quiet, and mm -hmm. I like that about Hiroshima a lot, so... But I love them all, to be honest. Yeah. I can't say... <laughs> like, I love Tokyo, for example. I don't like the weather in Tokyo, it's way too hot, but yeah. um, <laughs> it's still an amazing city. But Hiroshima is just special, it has a place in my heart, so mm -hmm. yeah. Have you tried any Japanese food? Of course, it's all I've eaten. <laughs> I had sea urchin, I've eaten, uh, I had gyukatsu. Gyukatsu? Gyukatsu, yeah. my favorite. That's <laughs> why I love gyukatsu. <laughs> I've had Japanese drinks as well, so sake exactly. and sapporo. Yeah. So, yeah, I've really only been eating Japanese food. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, have you tried uh, ramen in Fukuoka? Yeah. You tried it? Not in Fukuoka. I had no, it in Fukuoka. Osaka. In Osaka, okay. I had ramen and it was amazing. Uh. Yeah, it's incredible. So, you like Japanese food? I love Japanese food. <laughs> you love? <laughs> of course. If you're in Japan, you have to eat Japanese food. Like, mm -hmm. you, you wouldn't go to Japan for McDonald's, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's something, you know? Yep. Uh, so, have you tried any Japanese food before coming to Japan? Yes, I've, everyone has had sushi, so mm -hmm. sushi is very common. I've had ramen before, and I've had uh, teriyaki and a few other things, mm -hmm. but uh, I've, it's never as good as it is in Japan. Mm -hmm. So, the Japanese food in Japan will always be better than the Japanese better food than outside <laughs> Japan. Yeah, I, I have a uh, few more questions. Of course. What Japanese food do you dislike? Uh, I'd probably say the sea urchin was kind of tough because uh, oh. my mum is actually very allergic to sea urchin. Yeah. I had it and I was fine, but I had a very weird feeling in my throat <laughs> the whole the whole day. So yeah. maybe I'm allergic to sea urchin. Uh, yeah. I don't know, but it was really nice, but it was just weird, you know? Yeah. But yeah, no, I like all the Japanese food. It's mm. all amazing. So even though sea urchin was weird, I'd still eat it again. <laughs> so, yeah. you know? I see. If you could bring something back to your hometown from Japan, what would you like to bring back? I, I don't know. Uh, I'd probably like to bring the weather with me, <laughs> because yeah. Ireland is a very cold country. So oh, really? Have, yeah, and it rains a lot, so having you know a bit of hot weather would be nice. Mm -hmm. Not Tokyo weather, yeah, but like... Too, too hot? Yeah, it's too hot in Tokyo, but I'd say Hiroshima is a nice mix. Hiroshima is hot, but it's not as bad as Tokyo, so I'd probably like the weather in Hiroshima <laughs> in Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, Japan is very humid. Very. 
So yeah. is that okay for you? At first it was really bad, but I've gotten used to the humidity now. Mm. So the first five days were really tough, but mm. after five days I'm okay with it. Mm. Like especially today, like today it doesn't like it's probably not is nowhere near as bad as it was when I first arrived. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> so would you like to visit Japan again? Of course. I want to do Hokkaido, oh, Okinawa, Hokkaido. Fukushima. And, send, uh, and a few other places as well. Mm -hmm. So now that I've done the south of Japan, mm -hmm. I want to do the north of the Japan, yeah. and then I want to do the islands. Yeah. So my second trip to Japan, I'm going to go the other way. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Right. Lastly, what message would you like to convey to people who are considering visiting Japan? You have to visit. I think everyone has to visit Japan at some stage. Mm -hmm. It's genuinely one of the... It's probably the, my, the, my favorite country I've ever been to, and I've been to... 20 so far. Mm -hmm. So out of this is my 21st country, but out of 20 other countries, it's the best. The really? food's yeah, the food's amazing. The weather's been really good. <laughs> the weather's tough, but well, you get used to the weather. And depending on what season you go, so like mm -hmm. spring or autumn are the best times to go. In. But anyways, the food's amazing. The people are amazing, <laughs> and the cities are incredible. Yeah. And the public transport is also amazing. Yeah. Uh, so very uh, organized. Even? Very organized. Yeah. And that's another thing I would bring to Ireland is the public transport. <laughs> we don't really have good public transport in Ireland, right. so yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.